guys, it's Lisa and welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see from the title of this video, today I'm gonna to be talking about all of my Majuri must-have items. I wanted to do this video because I feel like I post a lot of Majuri content, but it's sort of spread out all over the place throughout my blog, my YouTube videos, and on my Instagram. So I wanted to do a one-stop shop video where you guys can see what I really love from them and some of my favorite must-have items. I hopefully will do this every few months after I've tried a couple more pieces and I'll constantly update you guys. I wanted to do this video here today for people people who may have not seen my content or people who are just kind of stumbling upon the brand or even this channel to understand what type of jewelry that I love wearing on a daily basis. I've included some of the items that I wear on a regular basis and in the end I'm also going to include some of the products that are also on my wish list so maybe we can check them out together and hopefully try them together. Before I go into the video I just want to remind you that I have a partnership with Majuri so you guys can get 10% off all of their products including everything that I'm talking about today. So make sure you click the links down below. The discount will be automatically applied upon checkout. Before I go on and start the video, I do want to do a really quick explanation between Gold Vermeil and Solid Gold. If you guys follow me, you probably have heard me explain this a ton of times. For those people who don't really know about the difference between Gold Vermeil and Solid Gold, I'm going to do a really quick explanation because throughout this video, I'm going to constantly refer back and then that way you guys will have a good sense of what I'm talking about. So to start off, Gold Vermeil and Solid Gold, the basic difference is how much Solid Gold is in the product. So Solid Gold, the entirety of the product is solid gold, meaning there isn't a speck of anything else. What that means for you also is that you can wear it all the time, you can wear it to shower, you can wear it to sleep, pretty much any occasion you're still able to wear the product. Now on the other hand, gold vermeil is basically gold plating, meaning that only the outside of the product is solid gold. You still get that solid gold piece, but you're not paying for the 100%. Why, you might ask, would you rather have that? A lot of reasons, number one, obviously like a price point perspective, if you have solid gold, then you're paying for a much higher markup. And then the second reason is because I tend to prefer gold for meal products when it comes to trendier items. For example, items that you might not feel comfortable sleeping with or items that you're not going to wear every single day. There's not really a point of paying for the entirety of solid gold if you're just going to take it off at the end of the day. I do personally prefer solid gold over gold for meal just because as a jewelry wearer, so maybe this will be kind of like a disclaimer before we go into the entirety of this video. For you guys to understand my jewelry style, I'm a very very low maintenance jewelry person. And what that means is that I just would prefer solid gold because I'm just way too lazy to put on all this other stuff. And I always forget, I feel like I'm always in a rush. For me, going solid gold is just better because it's just always on my body and easier to maintain as well. So if you see throughout this video, a lot of mentions of solid gold or kind of how I choose my products, you'll have a little bit of an understanding of why I choose it. A lot of the items are very low maintenance and probably things that you don't really need to take off. But anyway, I will be going through all categories of jewelry today from earrings to rings, necklaces, and even bracelets. So without any further ado, if you want to know some of my top picks from a jury, then just keep on watching. I'm gonna start with rings. I feel like I'm gonna start the video with some of the content that I might have not mentioned before and then towards the end I'm gonna have some products that I probably have mentioned before that some of my regular watchers might have already seen. But anyway, I feel like I haven't really talked about rings so I really want to start off with that topic. The first ring I want to talk about is this beaded ring and as you can see there are a lot of little beads that make up this ring. The reason why I really love it is because if you have seen my other videos Video, how I stack my rings. That video was mostly for my Pandora collection and those are rings that are all silver. I have now switched to gold jewelry. This ring I feel like really mimics the thumb ring that I really love from Pandora. It has the same idea. I like to wear it either on my middle finger or on my thumb because I never take off this ring. It's better for me to wear it on my middle finger unless if I'm going out then I'll wear it on my thumb because I don't want it to fall off. Not like it 
has fallen off before. It's pretty sturdy. I honestly have never taken off this ring. I just really like it because like I said, it's solid gold. You never have to take it off and it's super stackable. I feel like it's a really great base piece for pretty much anything and also a really amazing thumb ring. I'm also just gonna put it on my thumb so I can show you guys. It just looks super dainty on the thumb and it's so cute. Okay, the second ring I wanna talk about is this boyfriend stacker ring right here. So I'm just gonna put it on. This is what the ring looks like and this is just a really thick gold band. It's such a great statement ring. This one is gold vermeil, meaning you do have to take it off at the end of the night. But what I love about this ring is just, it is so simple and classic and just such a big staple in your jewelry collection that I really, really recommend. Honestly, this is not one that I mind taking off or not, but they do have a solid gold version if you really, really like the ring, which I actually wouldn't also mind getting because it looks so cute. It is a little bit thinner so it's not as thick but they do have the stacker in solid gold as well so you have the option of getting either the solid gold version or you can get the gold vermeil version that I have either way that's completely up to you but the size or the thickness of the ring is a little bit different from what I can see in the picture because I don't actually have the solid gold one it seems like the stacker is a little bit thinner than the boyfriend stacker the other ring that I wanted to talk about is the croissant ring and this is what it looks like I'm just gonna show you what it looks like on. So this is the croissant ring. I feel like my jury has done an excellent job with the marketing on this product because I think they sent it to literally every single influencer out there. So everyone has the croissant collection. If you haven't checked it out already, there's the ring, there's also bracelet, also earrings that come with it. It's just super cute and it really mimics the look of a French croissant. So if you haven't checked it out already, it's such a great statement piece, especially the ring. Once again, with the ring, there are two options. You can either get it with solid gold or gold vermeil. For me, I also have the gold vermeil and once again, the solid gold version is a little bit smaller than the gold vermeil. So it's just really up to you whether you want to see yourself wearing it every single day or if you want to see it as more of a statement piece and also depending on size, if you want a smaller ring, then potentially go with the solid gold. And then if you like the big size, then you can go with the gold vermeil. Okay, so moving on to earrings. The first pair of earrings that I want to share with you guys are these organic pearl hoops so these are probably by far my number one favorite earrings from a jury and this is exactly what I mean by a statement earring so these ones are gold vermeil and I would never wear this to the shower or in my sleep even if it was solid gold I just wouldn't do that because since it's so dainty and such a statement piece I feel like if I wear it all the time not only is it impractical it could get caught onto things but also if I'm sleeping it might damage or deform the product so for this product, it's not solid gold. This is what it looks like. I've also taken a ton of pictures with these earrings. The reason why I like them is because they're such a classic and dainty piece and I feel like it goes with so many dresses, so many skirts, and just outfits where you wanna feel a little bit more feminine. They're just such a great staple piece for that reason. I feel like it also looks really good against the hair because of the contrast between darker hair and the pearl um, because it's white and the hoop is also super dainty. There are two sizes. The one that I have are the smaller sizes so either the medium or the small I believe they took out the small or maybe they never had it but this one is definitely the smaller size not the bigger hoop earrings there's also the bigger option but that's not the one I have I feel like this size suits me a little bit better because I am smaller frame the next two earrings I want to talk about are solid gold earrings one of the reasons why I love their solid gold earrings is because it is so easy to wear because you barely have to take it off so the first ones I want to show you are these studs. All their studs in general are super cute. They go with so many different things and obviously you don't ever have to take it off since it's solid gold. The ones that I really like are called, I'm just going to pull it up here, the sphere bar studs and this is what it looks like. 
And the reason why I really like these is they're studs because they're so small and dainty. I find that it's really ideal for your second or third hoop. I kind of feel like their studs are a little bit small for the first lobe just because your lobes are generally bigger and they're just really, really tiny. They're more ideal for the piercings that kind of come afterwards. And I like to leave this one for more statement pieces or something like that. I also have another hoop earring from them that I would also wear on my first one where all these other ones I like to stack more with studs. So like I said, the ones that I have, they just have such a cute little like three circle thing going. I really like to wear them pointing upwards kind of along my ear and I just think it's such a cute dainty piece and I really really recommend. It's been a staple of theirs for a really long time and it's still on their website so if you haven't already definitely check it out. It's such a low maintenance piece. You never have to take it off and it's super easy to take care of. So the the last earrings that I have are my ultimate favorite solid gold earrings. I know there's a lot of favorites going on over here, but my favorite solid gold earrings are 100% spiral earrings. So this is what it looks like. And basically the reason why I really like them is number one, the spiral earrings don't even come with the backing and it's really hard for the earring to fall off. What I really like about it is from like a ear hygiene perspective, having the stud in the back sometimes Sometimes you gather some goop and some pus or whatever, this is so gross, with the spiral earrings because you don't have a backing, you never collect anything gross. It's just so ideal, especially if you only have one piercing. Before I got my second piercing, I would wear it on my first lobe. It would look like I have two piercings, but now I would put it on my second lobe and make it look like I have three earrings. It's really just this hole here, but this little spiral area gives it the illusion that I have another piercing. So it's just a super cute earring to go with. I used to have two, ironically, because I'm telling you that it never falls off. One time I was showering with it and I accidentally tugged it way too hard and it fell into the drain. I actually cried that day. Lucas was like, okay, it's not that big of a deal, but they're my favorite earrings. So anyway, now I only have one, hence this mismatch, but if you guys get the earrings, I honestly want to tell you, like it really doesn't fall off. It took maybe like one whole year before it actually fell off my ears, but they're so practical. I love them so much. They're super clean as well. If I have to recommend one pair of earrings, it would definitely be the spiral earrings, 100%. Moving on to my must have necklaces. The reason why I left the necklaces towards the very end is because I feel like I've mentioned these necklaces a million and one times. I've mentioned it in all of my favorite videos that you guys can watch. I will quickly go through it in case you are new here. The necklace that I have here is my gold initial necklace and this one is the solid gold. This just has a little dainty L on it and honestly it is my favorite necklace because I never take it off and it just goes with everything. Because I'm such a forgetful person and because I'm always in a rush, sometimes I'll wear shirts like this. I feel like if I don't have anything, it kind of makes this area look really, really bare. And before I got this necklace, there were so many occasions where I would wear shirts like these or dresses like these. I would go to work and I'd look down and I'm like, oh, it would bug me so much because it just looked super bare. But then after getting the initial necklace, I just would never take it off and it just looks really simple and really dainty. The other necklace that I have here with it is the other one that I wanted to talk about. This is the Lotus necklace. I really like this necklace as well because it's super stackable with the initial necklace. The only complaint, and I've said this once again in my other video, is that this one is not solid gold. So unfortunately, I do have to take this off every single night. I really, really hope, and hopefully Majuri is considering doing this, is making a solid gold version of this necklace because it's such a staple. It's such a classic necklace and it looks so cute. Like it just has three little white sapphires and it looks really, really cute with this initial necklace. There's also another initial necklace that isn't a circular necklace. Rather, it's just the letter and I think that one is super pretty as well. Unfortunately, when it comes to initials, I feel like Lisa is one of the most cursed initials because L's, they kind of look really boring to be honest. The letters that look really great are like M or like D or something like that. If you have a really 
nice looking letter. It looks really, really good. I'll leave a picture over here for you to see. It just looks really cool because it just has the letter itself and it's hollow. So what I told my friends also that you might find helpful is if you just buy one of these necklaces and you buy the pendant, that way you can always interchangeably use them or you can stack them on top of each other. So you could have both your initials without having to pay for another chain. So that's one way you can do it. Unless if you want to wear them both at the same time, then you can buy two necklaces. You can also just look at pendants you want so you can interchange it with the one you already have. So moving on to bracelets, the two bracelets that I have here, to be honest, I'm only including one of them in my favorites and it's the new Lotus bracelet. I've already mentioned this in my favorites video. The reason why I'm not mentioning this bracelet is because it's actually no longer on their site, but this one is their solid gold version of the Lotus bracelet. And this one I will never take off because it's just on my wrist and it's super dainty and it's just really cute. Anyway, those are pretty much my Majuri must-haves. I'm gonna try a couple more products, what's new and good from Majuri. I know from all of you guys, you guys also love the brand so much as well. I will constantly try to update you guys as much as I can. But in the meantime, I will give you a few of my own wishlist items because there are a few products that I saw when I was looking up the links of all of these guys and I was like, oh my God, that's so nice. So I will tell you guys a few of my wishlist items and maybe you guys can check those out as well. The first few items that I saw are their rings. I saw the stacker ring. This one is similar to the circle band, which by the way, after showing you guys, I dropped it on the ground and now I do not know where it is. I'm literally gonna spend the rest of the night looking for my ring because I don't know where it went. But anyway, it is similar to the beaded ring, but it's just one simple band. I feel like it's another ring that is super staple because it's so stackable. It really can go with anything. I've also tried the beaded ring with the boyfriend stacker and that looks really good too. So honestly, you guys can stack the beaded one, the stacker one. I feel like this is also another staple that is worth checking out. The other ring that I saw is the duo ring. There's two rings and they're looped together. It looks so cute, such a staple as well. And this is also solid gold. I feel like it kind of does the stacking for you, but it also can look really good with the other rings I talked about that you guys can stack it with. The necklace that I saw that was really interesting on the website is called the Boyfriend Bold Chain. There are a lot of chain necklaces, but this chain necklace seems so dainty and just so nice like I said I don't actually have the product but from the pictures it just seemed really really dainty not like other chains that I feel like it could go really really well and layer really well with the initial necklace and not have to take it off as well since it's also solid gold the last two items that I have my eye on the first one is the chain anklet did you guys know they make anklets now because I did not and it's summertime it would be such a great time to check out anklets and just have that really dainty piece around your well, ankle. <laughs> I was like, around, what's that body part called? Anyway, around your ankle, it would look so cute with sneakers and your flats or just anything that you're wearing in the summer, even if you're wearing heels. Maybe no one is gonna see you because still nobody's going out, but at least it will look cute to you. It's an essential that I really want in my life. The last ones that I kind of have my eye on are these bold hoops. These ones are so cute because like I said, I feel like the studs are a little bit too dainty for the first lobe. I'm looking for a set of earrings for my first lobes that I never have to take off and the reason why these ones caught my eye are because first of all hoops are super in right now they're a lot smaller these ones from the pictures it looks like it wraps around the lobe really closely it's better if you're gonna wear it every single day and all the time if it's gonna be more of a stud rather than a hoop because you don't want anything to get caught in between but because these hoops are so close to the lobe it seems it could honestly replace a stud since it does have that kind of like a safety piece to it and once again it's solid gold because I am looking for something for my first lobes that I can wear 24 7 and never have to take it off so that was pretty much the video for today and guess what during my pee break I found the ring but in Anyway, that was pretty much the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you have any questions regarding Majuri or anything else, really, just leave a comment down below and I will answer it there. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button so you guys know when the next video is at. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!